May 10th, 2012. These are the latest SDO images that are earth facing. This is Sunspot 1476. It says that the, at uh, this morning, May 10th, at 418 Universal Time, Sunspot 1476 unleashed an impulsive M5 class solar flare. It says uh, NASA Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash, and you'll see it there. Smaller one happened in the lower section here, just after it there. We'll look at that on the uh, X-ray flux out of Boulder. Now, looking at the chart, you see the three peaks. This is showing as an M5. It's very close to the 4.7 here and your three points here. But, uh, again, you see on each rotation that strong flare. Now, this started on the 9th. These dips are as your satellites go behind the Earth. In other words, the Earth is blocking the uh, impulse signal from the sun on these dips. Now, that last M5, 1476, did not have a CME with it, a coronal mass ejection. It was just a solar flare event. But if you noticed yesterday when we had the first strong M, there was a CME to the left of that uh, sunspot group. But God, this, this is Wikipedia. Type in solar flare. There's a lot of information there, and you can separate the different uh, type in solar flare. Go to coronal mass ejection. You've got a 30 minutes of good reading on both subjects. But I want to play this through. This was uh, happened on June the 7th, 2011. This was just an M2 flare, so you don't have to have the extremely large solar flares to have extremely large CMEs. Let's play this back through. Look at that. Quarter of the sun's surface was affected. You see that coronal mass ejection. That's electron protons. It's even iron, guys, that's inside those CMEs. Let's look at that again. You don't see that very often. Tremendous. But, guys, if we've ever been in the barrel down the sights of a strong flare that has the potential of putting out a next class that's strong enough to affect our grid, this is one of the times. Now, you notice it's almost directly earth-facing in the images before this. It's quick heads up. We're going to be keeping an eye on it. You guys have a safe day.